What's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day. You know, this one's going to be going out to my fellow countrymen. This one's going out to the Americans. Doesn't mean you can't watch if you're not American. It simply means that you might not understand or uh, probably not agree with everything that I am saying. But from my experience um, traveling around the world extensively, you really have to be American to understand the American way of thought, the American experience. It's just the way it is. You know, America is a dream country that everybody wants to go to. I go to all these different countries and I always meet people that they just their dream is to go to America. Not everybody. A lot of people don't want to go to America right now, and I can't blame them. A lot of people love their country, and I think that everybody should love their country. But inevitably, I meet people and they tell me how much they want to go to America, especially when I travel to third world countries or second world countries, as I call them, developing nations. People like have this ideal in their head of America, whether it's true or not, or partially true, is up for debate. Um, some would say that right now, America's not what she used to be. And they're right, frankly. But we are still the most powerful nation in the world. And that's the other thing that I constantly hear when I travel around the world. Ah, American, most powerful country in the world. People like don't even, people don't even second guess it. Like they literally, they, they can't even help saying it. They think America and then they just have to say, oh, powerful nation, like most powerful nation. Well, guess what, guys? We are. And right now, it's either us or it's China. And we have a large responsibility to the rest of the world that we don't let it become China. Because you think that America is imperialist. You think America's bad. You think America's like doesn't give a shit about human rights sometimes. China. Okay. That's all I'll say about that. We are still the reserve currency. Our dollar still goes a long way, especially in developing nations. We cannot let China take our place as the reserve currency. There is literally two options here for the world. Russia is out. They are done. They've dug their own grave, and now they're going to lie in it. Right now, the two nations competing for supremacy are us, America, and China. And China's not there yet but they will be sooner than we think. You know, a country has to be run off ideals. And we are a Christian nation built on Judeo-Christian values. You know, one thing that I've noticed a, a, a lot traveling around is <clears throat> every country has a, a set of principles that they operate by, whether that's Buddhism, whether that's Islam, um, whether that's Judaism in the case of pretty much just Israel, uh, whether that's Christianity in the case of um, the United States and to a la lesser degree, Europe. But Europe used to be a country or a nation, a set of nations run on Judeo-Christian values. And um, <clears throat> we are a very altruistic people as Americans, as Americans run by a set of Judeo-Christian values, we are a very altruistic people. For those of you who don't know, that means like a very charitable, very giving people. We believe, like Americans, like Americans, we believe that it is our responsibility to help the needy, to help people less fortunate than us. Give us your tired, your poor, your hungry, right? This is our values. It sums it up right there on the Statue of Freaking Liberty. Give us your tired, your poor, your needy, your hungry. Give, give us. We will take care of them. That's Judeo-Christian values right there at its finest. And <clears throat> we are a very charitable, very giving people. But this can hurt us because the enemies and people who want to take advantage of this don't care. They are not this way. They don't feel that way about all people. They might feel that way about a select group of people like, oh, we'll help people if they're Muslim or, oh, we'll help people, but we have to help ourselves first. 
or something along those lines. But Americans don't think this way. We don't. We say we're going to help everybody at the expense of our own selves. You know, look when we went into Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, the thing that was told to everybody was we're going to go liberate people from Saddam Hussein, from the Taliban. Every single American was all about it. They were like, yeah, 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 let's go liberate people. Like, let's go help these people. Yo, like other countries don't feel that way, dude. Like other countries do not operate like that. There has not been another country that I can think of, and I just tried, that was like always all about liberating people who need it and spreading freedom, right? And like, okay, do we spread capitalism? Yeah, absolutely. We want to do business. Like, do we do we do that at the expense of other countries sometimes? Absolutely, because that's how business is, is done. But in the end, it's it's at least done in the guise of, you know, spreading freedom and democracy. But when it really boils down to it, the American people, the American people, and I'm talking people who, my family fought in the revolution. Members of my family back in the day fought in the revolution. I don't think these men knew at the time that this nation would ever grow into what it is. But these these men were generally pretty deeply religious and had a high set of moral convictions. And one of those moral principles that they lived by was help thy neighbor and do unto others as you would have them do unto you and, and to be charitable and to help people at, even at your own expense sometimes. But we have to find a balance. This is, this is key in life. This is key in, I always laugh because it's key in Muay Thai and all my, my, my Muay Thai coaches always, balan, 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 balan. <laughs> I always think about that. Thai accent's a very funny accent. But balance is the key. I mean, even you talk about Thailand, talk about Buddhism, right? The middle path, balance. This is just an essential part of being. So we have to find a balance between being the this charitable, altruistic people and also taking care of our own people, right? Also taking care of our own selves, not letting greed ruin us. Because why? The love of money is the root of all evil. We are a capitalist society. And that's a good thing. You know, Gordon Gecko would say greed is good. It is to a degree. But, again, not at the expense of your own people. We can see this in countless examples around the world where countries are not strong enough because of internal greed. We are known all over the world as the most powerful nation, as I said earlier. People look to us to lead the way. We have to be able to say, hey, follow me with a clean heart and a strong will. And right now, it's hard for Americans to sit there with a straight face and say, follow me. I will be the example for you to follow. We have been for many, many, many years. And we are not always perfect. In fact, a superpower does some fucked up shit at times. But you know what? We do less fucked up shit than any other country. And I'm not even I'm not even going to bring in like Europe because they're so weak and pathetic. It, they don't even exist. <laughs> they don't even matter. Right. And look at these countries who like. England was the biggest superpower in the world. And now look at them. They can't even get four fighter jets in the air if they wanted it. Spain. Right. Like Rome, Italy, like these countries were huge superpowers and they contracted. Why? <clears throat> Internal greed. Not having their moral compass pointing in the right direction. We have internal problems right now. Our justice system, 
our healthcare system, just to name a few. But we are still a young nation. And we cannot let these things implode us. We must strive towards advancing. This means change. Yes, it means change. Do we need to fix some shit? Yes, we do. But it has to be a positive change. It has to be for the better of our own people. And America is special because we're not a homogenous nation. We're not all the same. Like, I've spent the four, past four months living in countries where everybody is the same. You're either all Muslim or you're either all Asian or you're either all whatever, right? Um, and I'm just not going to name them all because I'm keep my privacy as it is. But we are a very unique culture in the fact that we are not one people, but many people. And in many ways, we bring the best from every nation to one nation. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Now, I mentioned our justice system. Is there a lot wrong with it? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's barbaric in many ways, but it's a lot less barbaric than many, many other countries. Again, Europe is the exception, but Europe is a lot older than us, right? And I'm saying Western Europe. We will, we will advance and we will get in some respects more like this, I believe, if we can last. If we do not implode. Many people right now think we're heading for a civil war. Around the world, I get asked all the time, hey, bro, like, hey, Will, like, you think your country is going to go to a civil war? And I, I tell them, frankly, I don't know, man. I don't have the answer for you. We'll wait and see. And I don't like saying that because it makes people very nervous around the world. It makes them very nervous because... I've had many people come to me and say, you know, if you guys go, then everyone is screwed. We all look to you, America, for everything from technology to security to currency. Like America is the glue holding everything together. This is not my words. This is the words of many people I've talked to over the past four months and then over the past couple of years traveling as well. We have internal problems. But we are still a lot more put together than many, many, most countries out there. Honestly, I can tell you that honestly. I'd much rather go to prison in America than Anywhere outside of Western Europe, I'll tell you that. That means I'd rather go to prison in America. I'd rather not go to prison at all. It's clear, but the only other place that I'd rather go is in Western Europe is what I'm trying to say. America is a very unique culture. And many people around the world, you know, they say that <clears throat> we don't have a culture. But you really can't comprehend the American culture. And we do absolutely have a culture. We have a very unique culture, a very specific. I just have to keep using the word unique. It's a very unique culture. <laughs> and you cannot comprehend it or understand it unless you have lived in America for some time. We must embrace this culture and save it because it is under attack. Do not let your culture be destroyed. Yes. It will need to slightly change for the better. 
that we must keep our ideals and liberty and cultures alive and well, and we must keep freedom intact. Freedom and the American way of life is under attack right now. Make no mistake about that. But we must preserve our culture and our liberties and our freedom. With that being said, guys, I thanks for what I thank you for watching this, and I thank you for everything that you do to support the cause of liberty and justice for all. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. I know it's been a kind of a video dump this week, but got a lot of information I want to put out right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, motherfuckers.